The importance of the mill restakes in regards to producing subsequent 2000 guineas winners has pretty much waned over the years. But the 2022 winner of the mill restakes, Sakia, could hardly have been more impressive when winning at Newbury last August. It didn't look a particularly deep field of the six furlong group two, surely a race in danger of being downgraded at some point in the future, but Sakia could hardly have won it any easier. David Egan was never in any danger, as easy as you like, he sound at the line. That was just Sakia's third start, and on his second appearance, he was winning a Haydock novice race with similar ease, cantering home to a six length victory that day. It's hard not to be impressed by what he's done so far. Sakia was due to end this season in the Group 1 Middle Park Stakes at Newmarket, but Connections decided to put him away for the season. He's by Zotany, who has no problem producing mile horses, but the damn side of the pedigree wouldn't fill you with confidence about Sakia staying a mile. Going solely on the visuals, I think Sakia could possibly stay a mile, and it's certainly worth a try. We might find out if he runs in something like the Greenham Stakes back at Newbury in April, that's over seven furlongs where a decision can then be made. Is he a miler or a sprinter? A really exciting prospect for 2023, depending 